Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Yes, of course I'm starting fresh. Oh, I can't type. Hi, Jag. Hi, Jag. So nice to see you, my friend. <clears throat> it has been a while. I, uh, I want to game more and play more things and do more things. You'd be very welcome. Hi, Kesh. Um, I always ask a sound check off the off the top. Yes, game and play more for sure, my friend, for sure. Um, as you can see, I'm in my like house with holes in the roof that we bought and you know trying to survive. Uh, tonight I'm playing Portal Two with my class. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, puzzle games because we played some Tricky Towers for an hour, and then we played some uh, Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent. Uh, but man, it's uh, it's some good stuff. Nice to see uh, one of our original mods back in the chat. Uh, I should bestow more mod powers. That would be amazing. The puzzle engine games are just so good. Like Minnesota's just so good for like weird gnomes and like weird puzzles and, and folks with a different appreciation for life, uh, which is good times. So. How's how's the old uh, the old Pacific treating you? Fairly nicely. I assume the weather is much better for you than it is for us in the east, where it is like I don't know minus a thousand. Yeah. This is the worst week in in Ontario and Canada. Like it is just overwhelmingly cold. It is not beer. It should be beer. Yeah, that ain't that ain't too bad. That ain't that ain't too bad. Light dusting of snow. I can handle that. Um, it's this is the most that my life has felt like John Carpenter's The Thing. Not because there's a monster out there, but just that like I don't trust anyone <laughs> except for my family. And even when my family like, there's even those moments where like someone coughs and you're like what happened like was someone too close to something and because it's snow outside like deep snow for Canada right now it just it just adds to that anxiety so um, <sighs> yeah I I, uh, I think I think I, I need to play more games I have been playing um, my kid goes back to school next week uh, yes minus 20 Celsius but still um, all the stuff, all the boots, all the jackets, all the layers, all that stuff. It is intense. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get playing some stuff soon. So, um, I'm going to get this running and uh, start playing for, for those who have yet to see this game. Oh, did it just die? Did it just die? Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. My window looked a little screwed up, like something was messed up. Jag, I have a new PC coming. A really beautiful new PC. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In oh. compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. 
If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> Now, please return to your bed. Yeah, I, uh, I built a new gaming desktop. Uh, Good morning. You have been in suspension for, for VR nine, use for nine, school. Nine, so, for nine, research. Nine, for nine, research. Nine, Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? 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 Are you going to open the door at any time? Papa? Ah! God, God. You look. Um. Good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Yeah, Don't I'm, move. I, I'm gonna get I went to. Uh, oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word the uh, Canadian version of the Dell Aurora R10 Ryzen R10, 32 gigs of RAM. You know. All right, down there. It's, it's going to be amazing. Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center starts waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, oh, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? I'm not going to make it through, but I love space. Uh, just start getting through here. I just start concentrating. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Ah, oh, I see. No, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there Maybe that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is <laughs> not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now I'll be honest. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance <laughs> beyond our control. Yeah, he's However, great. Thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre I, uh, I really liked Hello Ladies just for him. I thought the, the so comedy with Dead Pan was on, amazing. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse, the portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. There we are. That's right.
be able to see us sort of, our knees don't exactly work. <laughs> They're great. But. I love the, uh, the iconography of this stuff, like telling you how to play it and what to expect from every level of experience. Cube and button based testing cost us emergency. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes. There's just so much that's enriching this world that it's like there's so much going on to look at. I just love that about it. So. Sounds okay. I mean, I, I think you're hearing it through my mic aux. I don't think you're hearing it through the game, but I had a echo effect last week. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your towels. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material <laughs> emancipation grill may have emancipated... I do have, like, a stiff neck today. Inside your head. Maybe I'm, like, supplanting, like, the experience of, you know, waking up from sleep. So yeah, this week we were talking about puzzle games and creating stories from like non-game experiences, you know. This is a game with a story, but I mean, we still create experiences out of our success, give or take, with different things. Yeah, I mean, it, it breaks up because like there's a lot going on, but the game will be quieter from this point on now that we're done. With the majority of that stuff. I don't remember if I can run. I don't think I can. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. <laughs> Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An aperture science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> Uh, when is society going to be rebuilt? That's all I'm wondering. Like, right now, I don't know why it's fun to be trapped in my basement playing a game about being trapped in my basement. But, yeah, that's fine. I don't need to run. I know there's things that will propel you quickly. Currently certain by jumps. Of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. This is just what an incredibly strong writing team has to offer. Hey, you made it! And not that other games don't have that. Portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. <gasps> Whoa! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you must ask that first. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, you need incredibly good, but as much as he's like, he's improvising the delivery of the style, he's not improvising the jokes. Like, the joke could literally have said in the script, like, make a joke about Some emergency being dead. may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. I don't have a... I don't have two portals yet, right? I just have one. Right, there's one there, but... Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, <laughs> please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Yeah, our, uh, our counts are coming down. 
no one's delivering us vaccines because our country stopped all manufacturing. We rely on imports. This next test is very dangerous. I'll Health stop talking about that. I'll, I'll just talk about that. Yeah. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three. Here we go. Smooth jazz. Is there anything smooth jazz can't do? Yeah, Bjorn is such a gem. Because you're so right. Whoa, that's that's a lot of experience. Let's move it here. Oh, hello. There you are. So many cues. So many Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> oh, I guess I can just walk up the glass, yes. It's all these, like, little rooms. You know, like, it's all this, like, System Shock 2 style art direction and design. Oh, that's a fucking game. We should play that. I think next week is Mario Brothers and like popular mainstream platformers. I'll probably play like Hollow Knight or something in stream. Hmm. Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Okay. Uh, I haven't. I think I have a copy of that that I picked up. Um... I should probably play it, right? What, you, what were you expecting? Um, what were you expecting, Victoria? We have a portal gun, and it's a blue portal, and then we can go through the orange portal, and we're, we've woken up in a testing center. Hey, Vic. Uh, yes, Vic is here. So yeah, we have to like work through all of these puzzles to find our way through each level. This is like a human testing lab, where there's a giant, uh, well, I think it's fair to say, a giant robot of some kind. It is, from the first one, I won't ruin anything yet. But I don't know what that does. Drops that in. No, into, the, into that. Oh, that, that's right. So we're going to drop this. Okay, I'm sorry. So we activate this switch. That'll keep that there for us. Stardew Valley, yes. That's, that's a good game. There we go. Happy to see a write-up. Uh, students, I'm thanking you for your write-ups. Those are amazing. For those who are not my students, uh, everyone plays a game every two weeks and then does a full write-up on all the things they love from it. Do I need to put it up here? I assume I do. Ugh. Sorry, weird physics. Yes. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. 
all aperture science personality constructs will remain functional. Yeah, we know, was pretty awesome. Low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. And there will not be cake later. I mean, if you have cake, I encourage you to eat the cake. But cake is not a reward I can genuinely offer you. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad this is going to be a good time. All right, yeah, so this is this is physics movement. So I need to, like, use this to propel myself. Yes, there we go. See, Victoria, you know, like, if I fall down through the portal, I'll come out of that portal and I'll shoot across. It's there. I should work. I'm not sure about this position. <laughs> and then likewise, I gotta just do this. <sighs> to now go and do this. And so I've got the block there. I'm gonna drop the block there. Should send it flying over the top, and I go this way. Shoof. <laughs> if you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, consistent inertia wow. is amazing. And remember, yes. testing is the future, and the future starts with you. you. Oh, I can smart through that. I don't know. So, yeah, we've got to here use physics. We can only shoot our portals on these big, lightly colored walls, so that helps. It gives us a bit of a, an impression of what we're supposed to do, potentially. I'm sorry, I could just go down here. Where is that? Here we go, we fall through, we jump across. There we go. Yeah, it, it, it'll make you dizzy. Uh, I wish it was a bit uh, easier on all of us, but okay, I forget where I need to get this. Over there. I think we need to go up here. Makes sense. Nope. That's not good. <laughs> I just dropped that in the wrong place. See, I don't know how that works. Still like I like that position. I think that's good. I guess I can just hold it. I don't have to drop the cube separately. It feels like I should. It feels like it, it wants to go. But yeah, it'll go with me. Do I have to hit hit this? Oh no, no, okay. Does that look, does that look right? Watch this. Watch this, Michaela. So there's a hole up there that I think I can get this into. And I'm going to drop this and hope it goes through. Of course it didn't do that. <laughs> Whoa! 
Okay, where is my cube? Oh, no, no cube! Yeah, absolutely. It's going to do that. It's totally going to do that. Am I overthinking this one? I don't think I am. Hmm, I forget. What is this? Can I do something with this? I just think this is a distraction. I can't remember, friends. I can't remember it. I'm missing it. It's probably because it's like late, late o'clock. So it's three panels in, roughly. Let's go higher, just in case. Why, why, why do I suck at this? Do I need to shadow that? Probably something like ridiculously simple to get.
There's no punch button. Yeah, it's the red button. I'm just trying to... I have to get this box here onto that thing to open this door. Because that'll open this door. But I'm I'm struggling to remember... Unless, unless I'm literally... Oh, there's no glass there. <sighs> okay, sorry. There's no glass there. I thought there was glass on both sides. I was making this far more complicated than it needs to be. So uh, make sure you design sets well and think about, you know, that potential. Because that should work. It looks open, yes. It totally is. So I saw the glass there, but then I didn't, I was overlooking this, which is like the rookie mistake. And now I gotta fly from here to make myself work with it. Thank you, Victoria. <sighs> Boom. Good work getting this far, future star. <laughs> that said, I don't know. I don't trust myself with anything, like a budget or a classroom. I don't know. I couldn't figure that out. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. But you're seeing the like the little incremental to strategies of making it more testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Hi, hi! Come up here! There he is. Oh brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Come on through. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I should meet you, yes. Hi, Wheatley. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here. So, get ready to catch me, alright, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? Alright, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow! I am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. But I open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. This Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Of course, of course they will. I love the idea of the rail, too, because we're a player on a rail. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Why are you doing? No, thanks. Very good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, it's Yeah, the, the idea that, like, we feel off the rail yet, we're still on a rail, and there's still a whole process through. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I've caught him before and dropped him before, but... <laughs> Probably to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. She will kill us. She will try. Okay, I'm gonna name the cards on the table. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over it. She's off. All fine. All we go. There she is. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Do you know who ended up taking her down? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. 
been a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. Don't touch it. So if you've played Portal 1, uh, or Portal, I've, I've got that too, I may play on the stream, but... Uh, Jump! Actually... Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held! You think that's a great job. <laughs> you've applied the great world fight. That's tremendous. Uh, but GLaDOS, you know, uh, with the, the disk operating system acronym tied in, the, the system that tried to defeat us, Ah, I'm sorry, I just looked down. <clears throat> Do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. <laughs> this is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. We'll look at other things, but don't. You understand can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God, <laughs> quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, I yep. can still stop this. Wilson, uh, yeah. Castaway, absolutely. Okay, there's, a, there's a pass. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just pass. I'll just pass. But with that wonderful British self-deprecating demeanor. A, 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 <laughs> um, okay. Here she is. A, 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 A. Because what would a sequel be without our analysis? Wait, did I do things from the jump? It's not right, these Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Back at you, back at you, nothing. Hello! Oh, that's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? <laughs> ah! Nice. Oh no! 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 Oh no! 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 Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For silence, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. <laughs> There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. I hope you like to test, friends. I hope you're excited to test. Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. And this poor turret falling down to be incinerated. There it is. Hold on. There. Absolutely. Good. You Absolutely. have a new portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever 
You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting with them. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this whole thing together. Today, I taught uh, on revenge all, we've got a lot uh, to do by Francis so Bacon from 1480. I don't have the actual tables in front of me, but the important thing is you are back with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks. So, so now, uh, all oh, poor turrets. For the rest of your life. I don't want to test After the rest that, of my life. Who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. So, so this is our nemesis. Uh, and she's back, and she's going to keep testing us. And now we have our dual portal gun, so we can go blue and orange. Any idea why uh, those colors? Why do we use those colors? The cold boot. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. <laughs> By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers. And yeah, test it's, it's chromatic opposites, so that your eye can tell lasers. the difference between them even if you have some trouble with color or with tone or brightness. <laughs> It's like green and red. Uh, that's why uh, they're really useful. I don't know what sort of I'm trying to fire this laser into. into that. Um, how do I get up there? Though? Yeah, it's 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 a it, there's a variety of paired colors that will look different or better uh, based on that. So. I just need to go over here now. I don't like this water. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. Yeah, it's why doctors typically, yeah, re we wear green. Yeah. Um, when working with um, the old green doctor scrubs. It helps because blood is red once it oxidizes, so it helps to create a differentiation between the splatter of the blood or other fluids and the doctor working, you know, so you don't make those. You need those opposites to help your other work a little bit better. It's why a lot of PvP maps use chromatic opposites as color design for Camp A, Camp B zones. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. I guess I have to get a. a I guess what she said. That's not working. Say there was a brick. Oh yeah, there's a brick. Hi, Wheatley. I see you. All right, one of these. Yeah, the glitch war games are only you know. Gotta get much better with this keyboard. I'm a controller monkey. See, like I, I shouldn't that shouldn't be a problem, but it just was. Check that out, Victoria. That's delivery. That's well like, done. you know, take Here that over. The test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says. A horrible person. <laughs> you, you weren't even testing for that. <laughs> oh. 
this game fills me with such joy. Like, like just such joy, like seeing how it comes together. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. <laughs> it's just a dangerous No, that's the journalism, of course. <laughs> Science has now validated I mean, if you're really hungry for a glowing cube with lenses, yes. Can I make that jump? I can. That's that's pleasant. Um, where's that one? There, and then I need to take that one. Okay, that's fine. So. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> pack on a few pounds. I haven't, I haven't, we, we haven't eaten out much. We're doing lots of bulk ordering. Our new house has a freezer, which has changed my life. I have a cold room and a freezer. So it's like I, I stock up on all this stuff and keep it chilled or frozen and like go check out what's in the pantry or the cold room. And by new house, I mean like 1970s Stranger Things house that like, you know. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. <laughs> I forget if these things will just get destroyed. I think they will. Oh yeah, I know. I need to stop this here. That's what I need to do. I assume it will just destroy itself. But. So blue. Okay, so it shuts itself off. But then, can I walk through that goop? No. That was that was unfortunate.
That's not what I need to do. I need to get over there and be on that platform and go across with that block. So you know what? Mm. Quick goop refresh. Oh, here. Okay, that's that's much nicer. So I've left that there, which means... Nope. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll <laughs> continue the testing. I love the subtle jabs at my weight and getting a little hefty and chunky. It's great. Good stuff. for the moments between the hours. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Oh, this thing, the catapult thing. My chihuahua sounds like a full-blown human when he comes downstairs. I don't think I have to do anything with this one. Here's an interesting fact. You're not don't make it too complicated, it. Cooling. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of the room, freshen it up a little, and pump it Here's back Ninja. in. Hi, so buddy. you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's, let's play this. Did you go outside? You're free. Yeah, you went outside for a little bit. Didn't you? Do you want to hang out? There's a dog bed right there. Yeah, Ninja's my little chihuahua. He's a little, let's see lovely what the next chief. Test is. Oh, advanced aerial face plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, he's definitely, yeah, he's super kind. Like, he's, he's far more docile. Sometimes with, like, medium-sized dogs, he thinks he's, like, all that or something. He's just very bad and smelling him. This is this doubles as my kid's classroom, and I also teach from there anymore because um, it's a basement. Oh, this one! This is going to be nuts. So. Let's see. Right.
Where do I need to fly? I think I need to get to there. Which means I don't really like. Does that make sense? I think it does. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I do love that, that you can see your, your, your portals. Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope, that was just water. I guess I can fire both, you know, onto the two levels and immediately get there. Let's see what the next test is. Boom. Advanced aerial face plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. That should be fine. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Oh man, I have to make that. All the garbage I have to is turn it off. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it smelled right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. So normally I break on the hour. I think I'm going to try and just play through the first the second chapter, uh, the entire thing, and get a little bit of advancement. Get Wheatley back. People with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting sound uh, effect. I think there's 22, though. So let me see. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the task? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them.
That works. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Take it. Yo, Chaos. Yo. I will take. I, I, I want to take everything. Like, all of it. Kelly, Kelly, good to see you, my friend. Oh, I'm just, you know, trying to combat lockdown by being locked down with GLaDOS <laughs> uh, and feeling trapped in a puzzle box on my own device. You know, um... This next test involves emancipation grills. Yes, remember, I remember. I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh um, no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Thanks. Oh no, it will work. I just have to go up here. Though. That's right. I don't know. I'm sure someone has. I'm sure someone has. Where do we need to focus? That? Oh yeah, we need to focus it here. I'm sure they've done it as a full bit of dialogue. I didn't try Cyberpunk because it fell apart, apparently. Oh, we got to the return. Well, I guess we're already at Chapter 3, I guess we'll keep going for a bit. Even though at a certain point this game is just going to be At least we're going to get back. We'll get Weeby back in, since I am playing tonight for a class, for a class that I'm first experience. Whoa! The cat is here now, too. Hi, cat. Do you want to come up? Everyone wants to meet you, too. They just met the dog. My dog doesn't like when I game apart from my wife late at night because he's like, you're supposed to be like either snuggling watching movies or like TV or sleeping. He's just like very big on that and it's kind of adorable. Hey, it's me, my dog. <laughs> well, I'm back. The aerial faith lady is a distress signal. You broke it. 
didn't you? There, try it now. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generous. Yes. I mean, it's, it's all the crunchy, the, the, the crunch berries. Oh, Canada got crunch berries. I've only bought one box, but still. <laughs> you seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. <laughs> That, that would make sense since since she's like she's effectively like the great white whale of testing like this big white computer face that you know like system that's got its own Hmm. I mean, who isn't a Melville fan? I mean, what did I get from the library? I picked up this. Sorry, there, a literary moment. Henry Fielding's Tom Jones. Because... I like Tom Jones, the singer. Do I like Tom Jones, the book? I don't know, but I figured no one had taken it out of the library. Sometimes it's my duty, you know, to make sure the Toronto Public Library doesn't lose out on a, a book that it should have, but... I don't know, okay, else should I like Tom Jones? Is it, uh, is this... Is this the Tom I'm looking for? I don't know what Oh yeah, I just I just go over here, that's what it is. See, of course I run into the one laser that I'm not supposed to run into. What's up, dog? How's your life as a dog? No no Tom Henry feel it. Henry Fielding's The Life and Time... Tom Jones. For Coleridge, the plot of Tom Jones was, along with that of Oedipus the King, the most perfect ever constructed. Fielding used all his art and craft to amass a successful playwright of the 18th century London stage and tell his hugely entertaining story of a foundling and how he arrives through sexual misadventures and elaborate disaster to claim his legitimacy, fortune, and love. This sounds kind of rapey and wrong. It's like 18th century playwright... Um, the history of Tom Jones, a foundling. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I took it out of the library because I was like, oh, Tom Jones the singer, but I know it's a book. I just, you know, just so unsure. Okay, so what do I need to do with this? So I need to create that. Use that to fire through here. Let's open up that, which then means jumping. Oh yeah, I better I better reset this one. It it sounds rapey. It just sounds wrong. It sounds like, well, but I'm Tom Jones. Not a Welshman of good taste, but, you know. Sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Ugh! Come on, I gotta move this blue dot here. Sailing through the air majestically. 
a low cat. Okay, we're done. Yeah. I just want to find Wheatley. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. I do reread a lot of the stuff that I assign. Most of it I have read like five or six times, but I fully will reread it. But how's the how's the collage going? Amaze. Amazing. Nope. Not enough. Not enough. I mean, it, it's, I don't know, it's certainly weird for us with, like, teaching for, it, it's fine for this class, because it's theater and gaming, so, like, we are just interested in, like, today it's puzzle games and, you know, figuring out narrative and story from them, um, whether they're provided or not. But ultimately, it's 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 super weird, like not having regular abilities to meet. It wouldn't be the same for all courses, but um, for theater, it's it's tough. We did our best, though, right, crew? I feel like I need to go down here. Collapse that thing. But how do I do that?
Oh, and I'm just fooling around with me. There we go. And I brought the right blog with me. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Yep. Yep. Uh, my kid has Back to the Future for kids, Doctor Who for kids, some really good books, and they've been doing this thing where, like, he walks up to the library and there's bags of books with pictures, and he just points to the characters he wants, and they bring him out an assortment. The other day he picked, um, he picked sports, which is great, you know, uh, but there was, like, good night baseball and good night hockey, and it was, like, good night moon to a baseball with a little bit of how baseball works, like pick one or the other. Like it's 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 not like good night dugout, good night pitch. Like it's just it's just weird. You know? These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. For this, one for this. Where do I put it though? Oh, it's over there. Silly light bridges. Predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. <laughs> Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Oh, man. I just come here for the, um, the constant put downs and the Good reminder news. of my place. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. 
When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door is malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Wheatley, Wheatley, please. Hey, hey, up here. I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I, ah! Bird! 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 <laughs> okay, that's probably the bird in it that made the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the subtitle was uh, was adorable for that too. I think so. I think I can. It's uh, we're we're already in chapter three actually. I'm I'm far beyond that. I just forgot. Um, I just forgot how. Uh, I just wanted to get some Wheatley back before I close off. You know, I know there's 22 tests in this section. That doesn't mean there's necessarily 22. Um, sorry. Uh, here, so I think so. I think we're good. That was, that was awkward. No! That shouldn't be that hard, but it turned out to be. I'm sure this can actually just go all the way through. No! That was a good save. And I need it again. Just extend this bridge. I call them cooling bad decisions.
I don't know. I don't know if that works, but it works. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to knock this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, <laughs> there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. If, uh, if anyone's here who's not part of our class, uh, this is the theater and gaming class at the University of Guelph. Uh, we play games every Thursday, and then I stream extra games on Monday. Tonight's puzzle games. We played a lot of this Tricky Towers and um, Nelson Tether's line. Puzzle then Agent. Things that are full of bullets. Oh, oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. I forget what next week is, to be honest. I think it's Mario games, like popular game, like popular mainstream games. Oh, it's fine. Right. You just gotta knock him over. Generally. I say that like I'm so good at it. are not a bad call. I mean, I don't endorse piracy, but at the same time, I think I'm going to stop there. It's been an hour and a half. Uh, we at least around. Maybe I'll continue tomorrow night uh, from this point. I think that's it for me. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming to see the game. Thank you for checking it out and thinking a bit more about puzzles. Hello old friends from Resolute and old friends from life and old friends from class. Uh, it was good, but that's an hour and a half for me. It is Monday. It is freezing. It's like minus, I don't know, 19 Celsius or something ridiculous. I mentioned when I was still looking at me like, you're supposed to go eat snacks or something at this point. So, um, I'm here Monday nights. Um, always playing games for class and we'll continue the stream and others going forward. Uh, especially once I get that new tower that has been custom built for VR and other other gaming needs for research. It is for research, but you know, um, a lot of fun, friends. Um, follow the channel, do stuff, and I'll see you soon.